Hey everyone, it's Phil Plisky. Most people understand that they need to use uh, age, gender, sport and activity level specific cut points for the Y balance test composite score. But sometimes people have difficulty explaining why this is or understanding the rationale behind it. So I want to go through that today and using a whiteboard example really helps illustrate it for a lot of people. So if we think about the average score for a composite score on the Y balance test, we typically get ranges from 80 to 120. And each sport scores differently, but if we look at the first sport that we did was girls basketball in high school. So what we found is a good normal distribution of the scores and the risk cut point for female high school basketball players was right around here in this 94% area. So that makes sense, but a lot of people want to apply that cut point to all the different populations. And so what we find though is if you look at another population like professional soccer, they score still with a normal distribution, but score a lot better. And their risk cut point is over here. So what you can see is if you apply the high school basketball cut point to professional soccer players, you will have missed a lot of the players that are at risk of injury. Conversely, if you apply the high school cut point, or excuse me, if you apply the professional cut point to high school players, you will identify way too many people as at risk for injury who actually aren't. So this is why we look at age, gender, sport, and activity level specific cut points.